Hello. It's me at Santa Claus. <clears throat> we're here with Wake the Elf as well. What we're doing is we actually have a ton of gifts. We're working with Game Changer Charity. They help provide us with a bunch of gifts and stuff. You know, we do this every single year. We do our annual Santa Claus Christmas charity stream. This year, Game Changer actually donated a ton of different gifts for us. You know, they're actually, they're outsourcing elf jobs. No <laughs> one's talking about this. This happened totally under my nose. <laughs> so the elves are kind of pissed about it. However, I'm very grateful. We gotta find these kids. We gotta give them presents. I need to jolly up a little bit instead of. I am probably yeah. the most violent looking elf. <laughs> the elf is bigger than Santa. This is the meanest looking elf. Hello! Hi! Hello! Hello. Hello. Central Pole. How are you guys? Hello! Hello. I'm Emily. Yeah, good to meet you. Hi, I actually yeah. was about to bring Samuel to, to you meet you. He's one of our dads that's checking out today. Oh, great. Santa Claus, nice just, to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. We just gave him some games on the way out. Great. Uh, he's going to discharge from the hospital, but. Okay, we'll great, meet awesome. Y'all to meet on the way out. Yeah, well, great. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Here, we're going to go ahead and just give you two of these. Here you go. Merry Christmas. I appreciate it. Yeah. You're fantastic. Yeah, you are. You, you are. are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just showed up. That's all. I just show up. So what they do here at the, the Ronald McDonald House, it's like a place for like the whole family to stay, right? The whole family comes in, they, they, they support them, they take care of them, and uh, we can actually talk to them and they, they can give like more of a rundown on like what they do. All right. Hey, how's Hi. it going? Derek Lesnow. Santa Claus, nice Very to nice meet you. Very nice to meet you, Santa. Thanks yeah. for coming today. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And thank you brought your elf, I see. Yeah, yeah, brought this Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good to see yeah. you. Good Thanks to for see coming you. today. So, uh, can, can you tell us a little bit about the Ronald McDonald House? Yeah, so Ronald McDonald House Charities of Central Texas provides lodging and support services for families who have kids who are being treated in Austin area medical centers. And so families who don't live in Austin but need to bring their children to Austin to receive medical care uh, need a place to stay. They need a place to eat. They need a place to shower. Uh, sleep, do their laundry, maintain their work schedule, uh, take care of the siblings and the rest of the family. And so while the medical professionals are taking care of the hospitalized kids in the hospital, we're taking care of the family. And so we try to provide all the comforts and the supports of home so the families can focus their entire energy on the children who are receiving treatment. Uh, so uh, here at the Ronald McDonald House in Austin, we have 30 rooms. Currently, we're all full. We have 100% capacity. We're turning away six out of every 10 families right now, so we're just really busting at the seams. And You're so turning on. away six out of every 10. Exactly. Oh and so God. it's it's amazing at just the need that uh, our community has for pediatric care right now. And so our goal is to grow our services so that we can house those families that we're currently putting on a wait list. Uh, we have this Ronald McDonald uh, House that has 30 rooms. Uh, they're suites. They're all bigger than my first apartment was. So they all have their own private living room. They all have there their own go. bedroom, separate private bathroom. Oh, wow. uh, okay. We can show you one that actually has a, a space that's uh, open right now. Okay. And a family's checking in at 7 p.m. So if you'd like to see what a room looks like, we can walk and show you. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So this is the kitchen and the dining room, kind of the heart of the house. Yeah. We have a group just arriving to make lunch for the families. Oh, nice. Every single day we have volunteers that prepare breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the families that are staying here. Okay. And so it really is an opportunity for the community to directly support the families that are staying in Austin, even though they don't live here. Yeah. Um, it's, 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 it's amazing, and, you know, the compliments from the uh, families that we have that come in, and when they come home from spending 12 hours at a hospital, they don't have to worry about going to the grocery store. They don't have to worry about going to a restaurant. They can just come in and uh, allow themselves to take a homemade meal that was prepared for them by a community volunteer. And so these uh, what one of the rooms looks like. And the rooms, they're all... Energy efficient. This was the greenest, most environmentally friendly Ronald McDonald House that it opened when it opened in 07. And so oh, one really? of those one of those components is you have to turn the room on. Oh, and so every okay. family, when they enter the room, they stick the room in the key switch. They turn the room on, so that way empty rooms aren't wasting electricity. Energies aren't you know uh, skyrocketing. The the costs for this 30,000 square foot facility to uh, run. How big are like this? Like the average family that, that comes and stays here? We would say probably three to four three family to four. members okay. will stay here. Um, you know, we we serve families that have just you know a single caregiver here that needs a place to be while their child's in the hospital, and then okay. we have families that have six family members that are staying here in addition to the patient that's yeah. in the hospital. So it really does run a pretty big spectrum. Okay, we're a two minute walk from yeah. where the children are being treated. We it's don't great only, for the families. Uh, it's great for the families. Yeah. But, but we don't only serve Dell Children's. We serve all of our Austin area medical okay. centers. And that's one of the biggest needs, or that's one of the, the biggest reasons why we have such a huge need for growing our services is because we have so many other hospitals that have come to Austin to care for kids. We now are trying to serve all of these hospitals with this one facility, and so we need to expand. And so that's really one, one of our, our big focuses is our making sure that we can meet the need because not families now who used to go to other cities to receive care, they're staying in Austin. 
and now those families that are coming from other cities are coming to Austin. Right. So the okay. need has just really grown. Yeah. So Santa, thank you very much for coming. <laughs> Absolutely. We really could not do it's a busy it. time of year for me, I but yeah, I made I it out. I appreciate you taking the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I cleared a lot out of my schedule yeah. to, to be here. So. Yeah, wake, wake the elves the last day. The, the rest of the elves are on strike. Yeah, so. <laughs> you even have stuff laid out like by room two. You have, that's for room 21, that's for room 12. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, you know, even like, hey, the, the kids... Like you, you know what they want, yeah. So it's like okay, they, they you know they, they put this on their wish list. They wrote this out to Santa, so you know sometimes Santa doesn't have the uh, opportunity to uh, get with everybody because we're a little short on elves right now. You know, Wake's been working very hard, but you know we don't have that many elves, so we have to outsource. You know, we work with you know uh, the Ronald McDonald House, and they they get it all sorted out. So. It's all good, very We're good. We designated elves for the season. Yes, very good. We, we, we appreciate that at the North Pole. We do a really good job of the community donating for kids. You know, obviously yeah. that's like the meaning of Christmas. The dads are really excited. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, like they, we don't have as much for them. Exactly, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's well, really do the, special. Do the dads play World of Warcraft? That might be why. <laughs> oh, totally. They're all like video games? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dude, watch, watch the show up and it's like half the dads are, are WoW players. <laughs> we started Game Changer when my son battled cancer and a rare form of leukemia, but also was hospitalized for a bone marrow transplant. I lived in a Ronald McDonald house with my son after his bone marrow transplant. So these people are angels. Paula right here, the care they give these families for their love and, and, and we really were so lucky. But for the live stream, the one thing I, I really want to thank um, Xbox for their years of donations of Minecraft goodies, of yeah. the uh, Game Passes, but also EA. EA gave us a ton of stuff here, all these beautiful games. And then all the EA employees and the Cap Group employees wrapped these presents and wrote the beautiful notes on them. So we're simply a conduit of the good back to you guys, to these families and these kids. But thank you, EA. Thank you, Xbox. Thank you for... Um, the folks up, uh, Powera, who donated all the headsets, they're beautiful. Yeah. Um, awesome. So thank you, uh, most importantly, thank you, S, and his beautiful community, and for picking us this Christmas to work with Game Changers. So thank you, guys. Yeah, no, I mean, hey, thank you guys for having us. Hello, good morning. Good morning. How are y'all doing? Good, we're doing great. We got a chance to, uh, to tour the building and see everything and uh, see what all they're doing here. This is, my, uh, this is my head elf. This is Wake the Elf. Wait. So. Executive Elf. Yeah, Executive Elf. Yeah. You know, we partnered up with Game Changers to, uh, or with the Game Changer Charity to get all this stuff together for, you know, for the kids, for, for the families, for everybody to uh, uh, kind of provide as much as possible. Like, we, we know it's a tough time right now for, for everybody here. So, uh, anything we can do to, to... That's for you, too. There you go. Yeah, a little bit of, a little bit of extra PS4 stuff. So, yeah, anything we can do to kind of help provide and give back and all that stuff, that's that's what we're all about, so. Like I said earlier, we, uh, there's gonna be, there's, there's a bunch of families here, people are gonna come down, we have gifts for them. You know, we, uh, Wake the Elf spent a lot of time actually building these gifts on his own. Yeah, because we're getting, we're short-handed on elves, but uh, but Wake went, he built it on his own, and uh, yeah. I haven't eaten in four days. <laughs> well, it's like three and a half. Oh, you used to watch my old? Yeah, I, used, uh. I was telling them that you used to be a big boy, and now you're running away. <laughs> yeah, we were joking. I was like, watch, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna run into people who like, actually like know who I am. We're actually watching yeah. the trip. That's so funny. I remember one of the videos was someone cooking for you. Yeah. And uh, Mia was like, who's that in the bag? And then everybody was like, yeah, who's in the bag? Oh, yeah. Uh, the cheerleader. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And you're like, yeah, I yeah. got some like, more people in the kitchen cooking for me still. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, yeah, no, it was uh, that was a very interesting time. Yeah. <laughs> it's the height of COVID. <laughs> yeah. Here's some gifts for you guys, here's some this is some clothes and then some PS5. Thank you. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> Hi. Santa. Hey, how's it going? Merry Christmas. How are you? Okay, we can give you one of these too. There you go. These are also PlayStation 5. So yeah, more more PlayStation 5 games. So even even though you can't play now, uh, whenever you go back home. Yeah. You can have games to play, and, and you can uh, you can do all that. So, and uh, I think they have a they, they have game room upstairs where, where you can play too, right? Well, good. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it. There's no there's no spo chat. There's no sponsor today. It's not a it's, this is not a, like a sponsor thing. It's Microsoft and EA and they all hooked up Game Changer with gifts and stuff, which then they give to us to give to these guys. So yeah, it's not, it's not like a uh, there's no yeah. sponsor or anything. Again, huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody involved, chat. You guys donated a ton. 7.4K. That is oh. unbelievable. 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable, Chad. That's amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, make sure to follow Wake Wilder. Wake, coming in clutch, my, my head elf. Uh, executive. Executive elf, the executive. I had a great time. So. We love you, Santa. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. And uh, chat, we'll see you guys later. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.